because it's so muddy in the lot. Y'all ready for this? Yeah. Like a heartbeat. This is the first day I've gone feeding in at least a week and a half. It feels good to be back outside. It's just been a lot going on and my girl has needed more attention with school than my son. So he's, he's been doing his school but he's been able to go help my husband so I could stay with my girl. Anyway, it's a beautiful 60 some degree day. There's more rain coming. So we'll just enjoy it while we can. The neighbor has white cows. White cows matter too. Charlay, I know what they are. So today is a good day. I got to farm again for a little bit. The sun is shining, and now I'm going to meet Pete. Meet with Pete. Pete is the owner and editor of the local magazine that I write for and do photography for. And today's a good day, because I get paid, so. And I also just realized I hadn't even brushed my hair today. But I have brushed my teeth, so. That counts as a win, right? So, since we didn't have anything pressing to do this afternoon and the weather's pretty good even though it started to cloud up and it's Valentine's and RC car is charged and the RC car is charged and I've been promising my son I would take him to some pavement because we literally have no concrete or pavement on the farm we came to the local park and there's basically nobody here so One's gonna play and one's gonna drive the RC car. Yeah, this is good free entertainment. We'll take. It. Whoa! Get back, Jack. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> that is a bad little unit. Run, run, be free. Oh, it's like Dr. Seussish. Okay. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. I just spun around on those, and my girl said, Oh, look, even the 40 year olds having fun. Nothing like my kids to bring me back to reality. <laughs> oh, me. Okay. We're probably not supposed to be doing that, but it's pretty fun. Okay, well now his sister has stolen his boots. This is what we're doing. But I'm swinging. And this is fun, y'all. I think we need to do this more. Yay! Okay, so it's Valentine's, I was going to say Valentine's Eve, but that would be last night, right? It's Valentine's night. Um, honestly, Valentine's is not really, it's just really not my favorite thing. It's just not something that I care a whole lot about. So, y'all can judge me for that. The children got Valentine's, they got candy coming out their ears, they got cards, and they made me, hold on. Hi, 
You both made me something. They both made me something very special. My girl made me this amazing little card to um, from Austin to Mama. She knows. She knows the way to my heart is food. So we have toast. That just looks terrible. It's a blister. Toast uh, with butter, butter, cake, and a butter biscuit. Does she know me, y'all? Yeah, she does. And then my boy made me this sweet little doodad, little hangy thing made out of paper clips that's hearts, and I love it. And I'm going to keep it here in the kitchen where I can see it regularly. But tonight, I got a little wild hair to do something fun for the kids because I think they're going to like it. I had a pound of hamburger that I needed to cook for supper, and I wasn't sure what I was going to do. So, I decided I was just going to do like little sliders, like little burgers. Wait, are you ready for this? Prepare yourselves. Y'all, look what I did. I made little hearts. Little heart patties. I don't know why I'm kind of impressed with myself for this. So that's what we're having. Little heart sliders. And that's basically I have nothing to go with it. But we have heart and we'll have bread. And uh, beef. We love beef around here. So we're going to celebrate beef and each other and our family tonight. So... That's what we're doing. We'll see how this goes. Okay, so this is working. What do you think, Austin? Good, good. <laughs> yeah, we have little heart hamburgers. Sweet. No pun intended, but it works. Well, that was a winner. That was a winner. I forgot the cheese, though. I'm gonna put cheese on, so. But yay. There we go. Beef sliding into our hearts oh, and our bellies. Oh, <laughs> yes. Very punny. Very punny, yes. I am raising punny children. I'm just so glad they know what a punny. pun is. You're very, very punny. So oh, punny. punny! Thank you. Okay, so while I'm driving, I'm gonna tell you a quick little story. This is just an addition, okay? I mentioned in my last vlog that I have a nickname, and evidently I don't even know how to pronounce my own name or my own nickname because everybody is saying that it's Marty. I didn't I didn't say Marty, I said Murdy. Like M-E-R-D-I-E, -E, Murdy. Murdy. So, yeah, it's, it's it's a great nickname. Um, so I owe that nickname to my mother-in-law, who's now deceased, but she was a sweetheart. She had a hard time hearing. Like she legitimately had a hard time hearing, and she didn't always wear hearing aids. Um, but anyway. So, some words were just hard for her to say. Meredith, Meredith is hard for me to say half the time, and it's my name. So, anyway, it just kind of came out Murdy, Murdy. So, that's what my mother-in-law and my father-in-law, Papa, they both call me Murdy, called me Murdy. So, I, I made the mistake, maybe, of telling some friends that, some co-workers, Summer, my friend Summer, I'm looking at you. I'm pretty sure you were one of the first ones that started calling me that. I don't know. Anyway, I could be wrong about that. Anyway, it just kind of stuck. And then I started referring to myself as Murdy, and I'll have what I call Murdy moments, especially in the kitchen. And I will talk to myself, Murdy, why'd you do that, Murdy? Look at you, Murdy. That's what I'll say. So, that's my nickname, and I've just shared it, shared it with the whole world. All, however many of you that watch this, which is obviously not the whole world. But anyway, that's that. That's my long explanation of a very short nickname. 
So there you go.